This is a very special ceremony in which we take the occasion of Kendallville sesquicentennial to honor the significant contributions made to Indiana history by Kendallville natives Lawrence D. Baker and Arthur Franklin Mapes. The Baker family has played a part of Kendallville history since 1858, when James R. Baker came to Kendallville. In 1895, James and his sons, Elmer, Will, and Clarence, formed J.R. Baker and Sons Company in Kendallville. They patented and produced bedside table and backrests for bed patients, a baby walker, and other items. Lawrence D. Baker, the second son of Will and Jane Baker, graduated from Indiana University in 1918. Afterward, he worked as a superintendent of schools in Remington, Indiana. When his father fell ill, Baker, known as Larry or LD, returned to Kendallville and took the position as a principal of Kendallville Junior High in 1925. During his years as an educator, he raised peonies as a hobby and expanding to many plots through the Kendallville and finally buying a 30-acre farm west of Kendallville on US 6 for $125 an acre. In 1944, Baker retired from education to devote more time to his business and also to run for the Indiana House of Representatives. He was elected as a Republican and served with distinction for 14 years. His colleagues honored him by having the peony made the official state flower on March 15, 1957. Kendallville native Arthur Franklin Mapes authored Indiana, the official state poem. Mapes wrote the poem Indiana in 15 minutes during a 1961 snowstorm. He sent it to the Fort Wayne radio station, WoWo, where it was recorded and played on the air. The Men's Garden Club of Fort Wayne lobbied for the poem to be adopted officially by the state. And the Indiana General Assembly adopted Indiana as the official state poem on March 11, 1963. In March of 1977, the legislature again recognized Mapes with a resolution declaring him Indiana's Poet Laureate. Now therefore, I, Michael R. Pence, Governor of the State of Indiana, do hereby proclaim June 1st through 8th, 2013, as Kendallville's 150th sesquicentennial celebration in the State of Indiana, and invite all citizens to duly note this occasion. Therefore, be it resolved by the Indiana House of Representatives and the General Assembly of the State and the Senate concurring, that the Indiana General Assembly wishes to pay tribute to the unique contributions of this rich and vital region of our state and wishes to congratulate Kendallville on the occasion of the 150th anniversary of its founding. I was five years old when this poem was written and uh, means as much to me now as it did when I first started to learn how to read. Indiana, God crowned her hills with beauty, gave her lakes and winding streams. Then he adds them all with woodlands as the setting for our dreams. Lovely are her moonlit rivers, shadowed by the sycamores, where the fragrant winds of summer play along the wilderness shores. I must roam those wooded hillsides. I must heed the native call, for a pagan voice within me seems to answer to it all. I must walk where squirrels scamper down a rustic old growth fence where a choir of birds is singing in a woodland green and dense. I must learn more of my homeland, for it's paradise to me. There's no haven quite as peaceful. There's no place I'd rather be. Indiana is a garden where the seeds of peace have grown, where each tree and vine and flower has a beauty all its own. Lovely are her fields and meadows that reach out to hills that rise, where the dreamy Wabash River wanders on through paradise. Every event's been beautiful. The day's beautiful. The tree is magnificent. And it's a very appropriate spot to do this. <clears throat> but I thank you for the proclamation that you've given us. And um, it's just a wonderful community to be in. Mayor Hanshaw and the city officials have done a super job of um, making the city look a little shinier and brighter. And uh, most of the citizens have responded by taking care of their properties a little bit better. And uh, we're all proud to be from Kentucky. Thank you.